my mom is so sweet and she's been making me food and bringing it to my door. We have a latte and a parfait. are gonna be lilies which are my favorite like one of my favorites because they smell so good oh my god I didn't lose my sense of smell or taste and I'm hoping I don't the only thing I have right now is just a dry cough and my throat is like a little sore so for that like I'm wearing a mask anytime I leave my room but I think that I want to go home because I want to shower and I want to like wear clothes i have all my shit just from the wedding my suitcase like this is what i've been living out of and my dad's fucking t-shirt drawer <laughs> <clears throat> yeah still watching superstore i'll catch up with you guys spot like nothing ever happened except for the fact that I'm still experiencing terrible night sweats like the worst I, no one ever told me about that but I'm like drenched every night anyway I treated myself to a grande shaken espresso with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla no classic of course and I got some essentials from the grocery store because Nick's not gonna be home for the next few days but I need some things in the meantime, grocery haul. Firstly, Cashy Go Lean is what it used to be called, but now it's just Cashy Go. These are very good and I love having these on like a yogurt bowl. Almond milk, so I can make my own coffee. Been loving, loving nectarines lately. They're just so juicy and I like putting them in my yogurt bowl. Two avocados, arugula, this is my like salad bedding of choice these yogurts are fantabulous these like two good ones um they were on sale for three which is like such an awkward number but whatever one red pepper because this one just looks so good you guys already know when nick is out of the house i like only get pre-made chicken and they have rotisserie chicken that's like shredded and this is amazing it's more expensive but it tastes better and i would rather have it taste a little bit better and be like three dollars more and then i got some mozzarella cheese and then my mom introduced me to these plant powered wraps and these are really really good and i i always am craving a quesadilla so i like to have things like this on hand except i think for this morning i'm gonna make what i made yesterday which is gonna be like a breakfast quesadilla that's the haul um i am just planning on cleaning up and organizing the house today I, I'm home, so let's rock and roll. A day in my life recovering from COVID. <laughs> <laughs>
right, um, I thought we would end this vlog with a little Q&A because it's been a hot minute. Um, and I feel like it would bring us back to together. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and we're just gonna like get rocking and rolling. Let me add one more book. Y'all are piled on a pile of books. Can I do this? Can I do this? What is something you're looking forward to? So my sister and I are going to New York City next week. She's performing in Brooklyn and I'm coming with her because I'm like helping her film and I style her. Um, she's an independent artist and so it's really amazing that she has this opportunity to perform in front of a new crowd in a new city in front of new people i think that's going to have such a big impact on her just like artistically creatively and in terms of her career and i'm hopping along because i'm like helping her shoot some bts content i'm gonna be her like videographer and photographer and then i think we're also gonna try to shoot some content for our collaboration channel um we have a channel called kit and emma and it was kind of on pause for a little bit because i went out of town and then obviously i got covid so it kind of got put on the back burner for a second but we've got some really fun ideas for this upcoming week um i'm so excited to be in new york i love new york i want to live there at some point I would love to book a movie or a TV show that requires me to move there for a little bit because I just want to experience what that's like. I'm just so drawn to it and I love that you can just walk everywhere. I try to like make my area like New York. Like I try to run and walk and do all my errands on foot because it just, something about it just really energizes me specifically. But that city is so fun. There's just so much you can do, so much culture, such good food. Um, and I think the walkability and like the subway system just makes it very, very easy to get around. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I'm gonna definitely have a vlog on my channel and obviously like post a shit ton of TikToks because what else is new? But that is like what I'm looking forward to the most. Last shower thought you had. Hmm, I don't know, I've been really trying to i think i've just been thinking like when i'm in the shower i just think about like all the things that i have to do and to update y'all i'm still looking for a job but at this point i'm no longer looking for like remote work social media kind of stuff i'm honestly looking for like working at a gym or working at a coffee shop like something that requires me to leave the house and meet new people and it would be great to work in a gym or some sort of like facility that i can work out either before or after my shift i think that just aligns the most for me and will give me the headspace that i need to be creative for my acting and also my youtube channel i'm hoping to get something soon i've got some leads but um it's been really really hard to get a job and at first i was interviewing for a lot of social media stuff but then something fell through like i landed one and then it fell through and to me that was a sign and I guess this could be the shower thought because I was thinking about this, but like for me, that was a sign, you know, I've tried to go that route. I've tried to go and I have gone the nine to six route. I've done it. It's proven itself to be fruitful in terms of monetary value and experience, but everything else like really suffered for me. Like my mental health was suffering. My emotional health was suffering. My acting career was suffering because I was constantly burnt out and I think because I'm trying to pursue acting like that is just all I want to do I want to find something that is a little more transactional still requires effort and like needing to be present and energized but it's different I'm very good with people like I'm an extrovert to my core and I think something that I've really been missing is human contact um because I, I genuinely get my energy from other people. So I think instead of finding something that's like hybrid or work from home, it'd be really nice to have to be somewhere and meet people and make money and pay my rent. Favorite song right now. I'm going to shout my sister out, Kit Major. Her latest single, I'm Bitter, is... I always tell her if I could ever write and sing a song, it would be that one because it's so nostalgic and you guys know me and my rom-coms like I love the year like the early 2000s. It inspires me so much like creatively and with my fashion and also like all the media that I consume. Like I watch a lot of 
90s early 2000s movies and I also listen to a lot of 90s and early 2000s music and I feel like that just falls in perfectly so I will leave it in the description for you guys to listen to if you want to check it out um it's really fucking good and I do a lot of my TikToks to her songs because it's just like why not they're good she's talented like I believe in her so much um and I love that song at what age did you discover that you wanted to be an actress I love this question um so I've been acting my whole life. My mom was an actor. She acted professionally. She was in a lot of commercials and she did a lot of theater. And growing up, my mom was the acting teacher at my high school slash, um, not high school, elementary school. I have been acting since since I could talk basically. And a lot of it is because my mom, she is my best friend and my biggest inspiration. And I've always wanted to be like her. And she introduced me to acting and like what it could be like to play in a world that is so real and like cathartic to some and it's so healing and there's so much love and I just fell in love with it immediately um so I was in a Christmas carol when I was like four years old or something like that and like the rest is history my mom was the director of that show and she was also in it and so she put me and my sisters in it and since then like it's been a no-brainer for me it's so magical i love being able to step into other stories and whether that's helping someone else feel seen um or even just have some sort of escape that's why i love it personally and then i also love to be that for someone else because going like going into a movie is probably my favorite thing in the whole world and to be able to tell someone's story and help someone feel a little bit less alone like that's that's all I want to do and it's just so fun I love playing as well and like literally like being other people is because it's just it's a good challenge and there's just nothing like it I don't know I've just always loved it and I've always wanted to to help other people through it so it's just been like something that like I ever since I can remember like when people would ask like when you're younger and they're like what's your dream career my would be like actress like it was a no like no questions I never even thought about doing anything else because I don't think that I could do anything else I think that that's what I'm on this earth to do and that's my destiny getting deep <laughs> story behind your tattoo so, it's right here, I can't see it. It says, no, no, no. And when I lived in China, my dad had a cover band and it was called The Three No's and their merch looked like this, no, no, no. And music is a huge thing in our life, like in my family's life. Like that is just something that we've always bonded over specifically. And a lot of it is because my dad had a cover band. And so he wrote his own music and stuff, but um, he used to perform all the time in China and that was something that I would do like on my Friday nights I would go and watch my dad play in his band and then um in our basement in China we had the drum set and his his band would come over for rehearsals like multiple times a week so it was just like our house was always music was always blasting and I remember spending hours even with my parents like organizing all their CDs and alphabetizing them and then we would like rotate which CDs we would play um, Green Day was my first concert and probably still one of my all-time favorite bands. So anyway, this tattoo symbolizes to me my dad's band. It also, there's three no's and there's three, I have two sisters, so there's three of us. So it kind of symbolizes that. It symbolizes music and then it also symbolizes my time living in China overseas, um, which is just... It was really important to me that my first tattoo had like sentimental value to it. Um, and then the coolest part about it is that it's my mom's handwriting. So she didn't get the tattoo, but me and my two sisters and my dad all have this exact same tattoo. And it was my mom's handwriting because she didn't want to get one, but she wanted to like participate in it. So we thought it would be really cool if she was the one to write it. To me, it feels like I've always had it. Like it, it was like, of course, this is my tattoo. Like I've had this for years. What do you mean? I'm just, I love it. Next question, opinion on Starbucks versus a coffee bean versus Dunkin Donuts. I'm so glad you asked about this. Um, coffee bean sucks. 
Their coffee is made from a powder, and I said what I said. Dunkin' Donuts, it is, more, like, it is bad more times than it is good, so it is completely off my radar these days. Like, unless I'm completely stranded in an airport or something, and there's literally no option, I will always go to Starbucks. Starbucks has, like, everything that I need. It's, like, not the best coffee I've ever had, but it's just consistent. Versus Dunkin', it's literally, like, flip a coin you never know what you're gonna get and I hate the unpredictability because there's nothing worse than bad coffee and then like coffee bad coffee that you have to pay for nothing worse offensive the last question is what is your favorite energy drink and I love that we're on this caffeine train um definitely Alani new I love Alani new energy drinks they are so carbonated and very, very flavorful. A lot of people think they're sickly sweet, but I'm okay with that. And then if I'm like really desperate, I'll have a Monster or a Celsius, but I definitely prefer Alani Nu. Monster and Celsius just aren't as carbonated for me, like com in comparison to Alani Nu. So that's, that's my opinion on that. I am so sweaty right now. Um, the thing about COVID that no one told me is... The night sweats. The night sweats are terrible and I literally wake up drenched. Like it's awful. I have to change my shirt like seven times in the night. Not that anyone asked, but I'm feeling better. Um, it's just like my throat is still a little like hoarse, but in terms of like my contagion, contagion period, like I'm no longer contagious and I'm out of the isolation like cycle period. Yeah. So hope y'all enjoyed spending the day with me and um, getting to catch up a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you have any like particular videos or vlogs that you want to see from me. Now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to do more of the stuff that I was like wanting to do pre-travel and everything. But I'm so excited for New York. Get ready for that kind of content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. It's gonna go on my Adam Sandler stroll. And if you know, then you freaking know. Okay, bye.